There's even food there. Even the, uh, even the seagulls aren't playing out tonight. And welcome back to another video on this very, very cold late afternoon, early evening walk. And uh, so we're just down at Sainsbury's, uh, just in the, uh, the town centre. You can see the, uh, the tree is lit up, that wonderful white and blue. How lovely does that one look? So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a, a walk through to the, uh, the town centre uh, and zigzag our way across onto the, uh, the promenade. And uh, like I say, it's a very, very bitter, bitter cold late afternoon, early evening. So yeah, come and join me on this uh, bit of an adventure and walk around. office building uh, this one is uh, he's still up for sale like I said before it's a uh, he's in negotiations um, in one of the uh, the bids what's come forward so it'd be interesting to see um, if anything comes out of that so yeah we're just uh, gonna head on to St John's Square and uh, you can see first of all we've got the uh, Abington Street Market and they're all ready for uh, for Christmas see I'm gonna have a, a bit of a look closer but They've got all the, uh, the trees and the trimmings outside. So it's only a matter of time before all the uh, wonderful, let's have a, a quick look. So you can see, just there you see Blackpool Tower, just on the, uh, the right hand side, lit up in that lovely blue and uh, white color. So yeah, we're gonna head over to, uh, like I said, zigzag our way through to town, through uh, St. John's Square. And that's the, uh, Abington Street Market. You can see they've got the, uh, the Christmas trees outside and they'll be uh, lit up very shortly. And uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a lovely little place. It's a fantastic square. As you've got many little restaurants and little food and drink places. It's a lovely little spot. And uh, you see, uh, like I said, St. John's Square is all lit up now. Look at that wonderful, huge, huge bauble with a present wrapped right, what should I say, like a little, a little thing wrapped right at the top. Like a, not a bow, but yeah, I'm sort of a bit of a loss for words at the moment because that's mesmerizing. That's wonderful. Look how wonderful that looks. And you can uh, walk right through this and take your picture. That's uh, spectacular. And you see the, uh, the tower just in the, uh, the distance. Certainly looks uh, certainly looks nice, and uh, as we walk through this wonderful, like huge bauble, we can see uh, the Christmas tree again, all lit up. So we haven't seen this one at night actually lit up, just near the uh, church. Look at that! You can see the uh, the sky looks like a dark blue, black colour tonight. Just, uh, Zoom around there, or sorry, pan the camera around a little bit to the uh, the left, but you can see the tower there. Just look at that sky, it looks a, a strange, very dark blue and yeah, very, very peculiar colour, but it is a, a bitter cold night. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, like I said, cut through the, uh, the town, and you see, you know, it's, it's not that late on. And it's not like sort of late evening art and the town looks very very quiet very quiet indeed you see the uh the Vintro lounge and all the uh, all the other goodies uh, just to the uh, the right hand side but yeah what we'll do we're gonna like I said, zigzag through the uh, the town center and uh hit onto the uh, promenade and just see uh, if anything's happening how the uh, the market is and who's around so this is uh, near hounds hill so we're just going to have a, a bit of a walk down and you see all the, uh, all the uh, sort of Christmas lights uh, about come on. It's, uh, it's, it's like a deserted place. You know, I guess most of the shops have closed now and it is a very, very bitter day. But yeah, it's, uh, we're going we're gonna to head on, I'd imagine. 
most people will be uh, grabbing the coffee from the, uh, the Christmas wonderland. And they're uh, just warming the old cottles up. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's very quiet. I just pan the camera around to the, uh, the right hand side. So the old game store used to be uh, along there. You see, like I said, it's uh, very quiet tonight. So we arrived at the, uh, the bright lights of Blackpool, the bright lights. And uh, what a great one this one is. Like I said, we filmed this one before. We'll just have a, a bit of a walk down because this certainly warms the old uh, cottles up on this, uh, this cold night. Let's have a, a bit of a walk through the old uh, Christmas market, shall we? And then we'll uh, pop back on to the, uh, the main promenade. And, uh, there's some wonderful food and wonderful drinks uh, in this one. Yeah, look at that, sizzling away. Lovely. So let's just uh, move on that, uh, that little forward. See, she's enjoying her a cup of hot chocolate. That's uh, another great one. I said the, the old uh, wine and the beer, the hot chocolates, all the rest of it in that little stall. And that's what I certainly need. I certainly need to visit this stall, to be fair. Grab some uh, gloves, see the little gloves in that little basket there. That's certainly what I need to, uh, what I need to visit. Yeah, again, stall after stall with uh, the lovely foods. So yeah, we just uh, arrived at the old uh, comedy carpet. It's just a uh, key going. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 there's not much going around in Blackpool, you know, especially the, uh, you know, the night draws in so quickly. And it gets dark, you know, four o'clock is dark. Nevertheless, like I say, you can see the uh, the wonderful market. You know, you got all sorts of uh, all sorts of things to do. It's a great family, uh, great family thing. See, uh, you know, wonderful little Christmas decorations there. You know, there's many of these stalls. Look at that. Fresh strawberries and chocolate. Yeah. Like all the. Uh, all what you can imagine, the, uh, the cell. So it's like the, uh, the sky flyer isn't going at the moment. Let's have a quick look at this fudge one. I know this one will be uh, a lot of people's favorites. See all the uh, the wonderful sweets. Look at that! All the uh, the wonderful ones. Look at that certainly makes you tempted. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep going. Uh, head on the, towards the uh, the south side. Well, not the south side. This the uh, the central. I do apologise. And this is always a, a great one. The old spirals. And uh, you, like I say, you can walk through there and uh, take, your, uh, take your snapshots. It's a, it's a lovely one, that one. All the, uh, all the bright lights of Blackpool it certainly attracts uh, 19 million people each year come to Blackpool just to uh, experience the atmosphere and uh, the various events Blackpool puts on. So, uh, Quick walk along the uh, the tram tracks because again, you know, all the uh, all the lights look uh, really nice at night time compared to the uh, the daytime. So I think what we'll do, we'll head towards, uh, like I said, the uh, central pier, and then we'll uh, we'll turn back because there's not much really going on at the moment. That's nice, maybe a, a couple of hours. It is, uh, it is all midweek, but you know, Blackpool is uh, at the moment. It's quite quiet. And 
just look at these these uh, i mean normally these are absolutely packed people walking through grabbing the grabbing the pictures like i said many a times and uh, you see you know it's a uh, there's no one really around there's a couple of people just taking a snapshot there uh, yeah there's nobody like i said around i was imagine they're all indoors you know and keeping uh, keeping warm but and there's a uh, there's me out in the uh, in the freezing conditions i must be uh, I must be mad but nevertheless you see that's a uh, central pier and uh, it's pretty dark and it looks like everything is uh, is switched off and that sort of just comes alive weekends now and uh, you see it's uh, very very quiet nothing is uh, nothing is on nothing is going around so, so I've got a bit of activity. Like there's an ambulance just uh, going through the uh, through the town. But yeah, how quiet is Blackpool tonight? It's like deserted. Let's have a quick look at the uh, the tower. There we go. That's the uh, Blackpool tower in that lovely, like a, a blue and not a white colour tonight. So what we're going to do? We're going to head on back. Because I, I ventured out last night um, into uh, to Bisbon and to Cleveland. Now I didn't put that video up because there's nothing happening at all. But they have uh, put the trees up, so I might add that at the end of this video. Uh, like I said, I did scrap the video because there's literally nothing going on. And you know, that's the last thing I want to do is bring something um, to everybody when there's nothing going on at all. It's just you know, it's. It, I wouldn't say it's not entertaining, but it's, uh, it's not worth watching. So I might pop a couple of uh, clips on and just show, show you what Cleveland was like late evening. Uh, just walking past Sea Life now, you see they've got the uh, Christmas decorations in the, uh, in the windows. And they look, uh, look, look really nice from the other side of the road. Lovely and bright. So many of these shops now are starting to uh, decorate up, ready for the, uh, the Christmas spirit. So yeah, I think we'll, do, we'll, uh, we'll head back, uh, maybe through town, see if there's anything else um, going on um, tonight. Uh, just walking past Sea Life now, you see they've got the uh, Christmas decorations in the, uh, in the windows. And they look, uh, look, look really nice from the other side of the road. Lovely and bright. So many of these shops now are uh, starting to uh, decorate up, ready for the, uh, the Christmas spirit. So yeah, I think we'll, do, we'll, uh, we'll head back, uh, maybe through town, see if there's anything else um, going on um, tonight. So this is the uh, Blackpool Rock World. And you can see, you know, even, uh, even these shops, you know, there's, uh, there's nobody in them. You know, normally they're full of joys and, and everything, but you see how quiet. You know, Blackpool is like a deserted town. It just shows you, you know, uh, if the weather's nice and the sun's out, you know, it gets people out. But this time of year, you know, it's not that, you know, there's nothing on because there's a wonderful Christmas by the sea on. It's just, it's miserable, it's cold. And people just want to be indoors, I guess. But like I said, normally I'm the, the full of joys and, well, you know, tonight, it's a, it's a totally different uh, place. See, there's this a little symbol on the floor being projected by the, uh, the spyglass. So yeah, well, that's all. Uh, we'll have a look around, but to be fair, there's, uh, there's not much really going on. So yeah, we just uh, hit the, uh, the town again, and you know, you can... Uh, you can see how quiet the uh, the streets are. And this like what it's like in every street in the uh, in the town centre at the moment. You know, even the uh, there's even food there. Even the uh, even the seagulls aren't playing out tonight. That's how that's how quiet Blackpool is. Even the seagulls have turned free food down. Normally they're uh, the first ones to be attacking the food. Guess 
where you are now. So we're now inside the uh, the winter gardens, and uh, we'll have a looks like it's open. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can take a shortcut through uh, through here and back into uh, near St John Square, where we more or less started the video. But yeah, how many famous people have been in here, walked up these steps, and put on amazing shows for everybody? And it's certainly, certainly warmer in here. And you can see, like I said, this is in the inside of the, uh, the winter gardens. You see the fantastic little restaurants and all sorts. And there's the, uh, the Empress Ballroom straight ahead. So yeah, something, uh, something a little different. You don't see this on every video. Let's just uh, pan the camera around to the uh, the left. It's a wonderful building, this one. You see, you've got the uh, Christmas decorations up. There's the uh, floral lounge bar. You see in there, wonderful bar. It's certainly, uh, certainly swishing that one. So yeah, like I say, it's a bit of a, bit of a cut through this one. See the, uh, the wonderful lights just uh, hanging down. So yeah, this is inside the, uh, the, uh, the winter gardens. And this is the, uh, the Spanish suite. And uh, this looks uh, really nice. Look at this, have a, a quick look. How fantastic does this look? Look at the uh, the lovely woodwork. It's certainly amazing. Yeah, this is the uh, the Spanish suite. And, uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic design. Bisbon Village always seems to have two Christmas trees. So I'll just show you the uh, the trees first of all, and you can see there's uh, there's one just there. And also, there's another one, so it's quite strange. They always have two trees. So it looks like the lights have been uh, put on, but they're not actually switched on at the moment. So yeah, Bisbon Village always seems to uh, to have uh, two trees. And uh, we'll just have a, a bit of a walk around uh, the uh, the Bisbon Village because they've got some fantastic uh, little places. So first of all, they've got the, uh, the Albion, which is a fantastic little pub. And they do really nice food in there as well. And in the summer, they've got a lovely seating area outside, which you can uh, you can see there. And it's always a, a fantastic, like I said, a really great atmosphere in the uh, in the Albion. And this is just located um, in uh, Bisbon Village. And uh, just moving on a, a slight, a few footsteps from the Albion, so it's next door. This used to be the uh, the Bisbon Village Market, and they used to sell all sorts of things in there, so cards. Um, things for dogs and everything that's now all closed down and uh, they, they, they fill Whiston's theatre works so I'm not too sure exactly what that is there's something to do with like dancing and classes things like that but uh, yeah so that's uh, certainly changed so a lot of it actually changed um, in Bisbon Village over the last few years but uh, I just wanted to show you these uh, lovely little trees as well they've, uh, they've popped up all around the village so we'll have a, a bit of a look let's wait for the uh, Cars to go. Just wait to cross over. Yeah. So all above the uh, the shops, as you can see, straight forward, they're all offices uh, from accountancy to uh, to all sorts. Of the uh, the running there. But if you have a look, you can see all these uh, I say wonderful little Christmas trees. They uh, pop up all along um, Bisbon. You see. Uh, just have a zoom in a little bit. Let's move the camera up. You see all the fantastic little trees all dotted about. Uh, along uh, the village and the, they put these up every year if you can see there we go look so every year they put these all around uh, Bisbon village which uh, certainly look great so it'd be it'd be fantastic when the uh, the tree is uh, all lit up I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the video here um, like it is freezing outside there's not much going on it is very deserted so if you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, take care, and it is.
uh, bye from me. Bye-bye.